If you want to use couponing to help you pay off some debt, stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and strategies for exactly how I was able to do so, so you can do it too. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Breathe the Coupon Queen. If you're new here, make sure you take a second, hit the red subscribe button. I post new videos every Friday for exactly how to coupon, some behind the scenes things, just ways to help you on your couponing journey as well. Ignore some of the noise in the background. We are getting our bathroom redone right now. So I'm gonna try to get through this video without as much background noise as possible. So this video I am so excited about because I think this is gonna help you really take your couponing to the next level and be able to use it to help you become more financially free, pay off that debt that's very expensive. So I'm gonna go over some of my tips and strategies. Let's dive in. Okay, so step number one, this is the most important step of everything I'm gonna tell you in this video. So if you take anything away from this, pay attention to this first step. It is to have a budget. That is literally key to being able to save money. So if you don't know how much you're spending, how do you know how much you're saving? You could be spending a ton of money out of pocket every single month, even if you're couponing, which kind of defeats the purpose. But you're not going to know that until you have a budget and you start tracking how much you're spending. When I first started couponing, I did not have a budget. So yes, I was getting way more products for how much I was spending, because I was able to use coupons and things like that, but I wasn't tracking my out-of-pocket cost. So who knows how much I was spending? You wanna make sure that you are tracking how much you're spending and know how much you're saving. That way you can put that towards your debt and be able to pay off your debt, which is the whole purpose of this video. Most of the people that I talk to when I'm trying to figure out how I can help them save more money, I ask them you know, to get started how much are you spending right now? We need to know where you're starting to be able to form a path to get you to where you want to be, right? And most of them say, I'm not sure, to be honest, I don't have a budget, or they'll give me a rough estimate of, say, $150 to $200 a month. Well, that's a $50 difference. So if you look at it at first glance, $50 may not seem like a ton of money, but look at it long term. If you are miscalculating by just $50 a month because you don't know how much you're spending and you're not tracking it properly, that's $600 over the course of the year. Say you're trying to pay off a credit card. How much could you save by making an additional $600 payment to the principal of that credit card? That would exponentially save you in interest that you are accruing on the balance of that credit card. So even though it's just $50 that you may be hitting or missing because you're not accurate and really understanding your spending, that can really, really escalate by the end of the year. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna go ahead and stop you wherever you're at now. It is only July or whenever you're watching this video, but I'm making the video in July. So we have six months left of the year. So if you save just $50 a month for the rest of the year, you'll be able to save $300. Imagine what you could do with another $300. So that is the purpose. So we wanna make sure that you have a budget in place. Now I know what you're thinking. How do you put together a budget? How do you track it? How do you make sure it's a spreadsheet that's not super crazy and not difficult? If you need help with putting together a budget, I do have a budget training that I put together linked below in the description box. It also includes my budget spreadsheet that I personally use every single month to track my out-of-pocket cost and track my savings. So if you want that budget training, it is linked below in the description box. It's only $17, comes with all of that, so you can make sure that you can start putting together a budget right now so you don't have to worry about overspending. Now let's get into step number two. Okay, step two is to pick one form of debt that you wanna pay off first. I recommend, of course, picking your highest interest debt so if your credit card is at 22% and you have a car loan that's at 4.5%, focus on your credit card first because that interest is killing you way more than the interest on a car loan, so on and so forth. So you want to focus on the highest interest debt first, put all of your eggs in that basket and make sure that you are putting all of your additional savings to pay that off first. That helped me when I was trying to pay off my debt, just doing one at a time. If you're splitting it, then it's gonna take you twice as long to pay them off. 
It's also not going to feel like you're getting anywhere because they're both going to be coming down so slowly. If you focus all of your payments to additional payments on that one form, then when you pay it off, you feel amazing. It is so exciting and it's a weight lifted off of your shoulders. Also motivates you to keep going and continue the same process for the next form of debt, so on and so forth, until you're debt free. So I would focus on a credit card if you have credit card debt. So then what you wanna do is with your budget, figure out how much you're spending and how much you're saving. So that's why the budget is so important. Say before you were couponing, you were spending $250 a month on all of your household products, your shampoos, conditioners, your laundry products, your cleaning products, your paper products, your oral care, so on and so forth. Say you were spending $250. Then you learn how to coupon the right way. Now you're able to get those products for $50 a month. Well, you would be saving $200 a month. So you're gonna take that savings and you are gonna put that towards an additional payment on that credit card. So I made my normal payment that was due, maybe it was $100 or 40 bucks or whatever. Whatever your normal payment is, then I made an additional separate payment just to the principal to help lower that down. That is how I was able to pay off my credit card debt. So you wanna make sure that you're doing the same things. Now, here's a disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, I'm not a tax advisor, nothing like that. So definitely consult a professional if you need more help with that. I'm just telling you guys what worked for me and what you guys could possibly do as well using the money that you're saving from couponing. That's why I love couponing so much because it can honestly change your life if you do it the right way and if you master couponing. Step number three is to stay consistent. Consistency is key with most things in life. Same thing with saving money. So what I teach my students in the Couponing Academy is how to coupon once a week at just one store and master that store. That way you are consistently building up your stockpile and consistently saving money. So you can put that to pay off your debt, put in an emergency fund, put towards a new house, whatever the case may be but you want to make sure that you are consistent. The more consistent you are, the easier it's gonna be and the quicker you're gonna be able to pay off your debt. So consistency is so, so important as well. And my last tip is to focus on the big picture. Why are you paying off your credit card debt? What could that help you afford by not having to make those payments? Are you then wanting to save up for a house? Are you then wanting to go on a vacation? Some people are wanting to visit their grandbabies or visit their children more or something like that. What is your big picture of why you're doing it? Because it does take a little bit of sacrifice. So it's gonna make the sacrifice a lot easier if you have a big important goal that means a lot to you. The more important it is to you, the more you're gonna push for it. So I always ask everyone that I reach out to, everyone that I'm trying to help save on their couponing journey, why are you couponing? What made you start couponing? And if it is important enough for you, you're not gonna let any little obstacles get in your way and you're gonna make sure that you keep pushing forward to that end goal, which is becoming more financially free and then whatever else you're looking for. So those are my four tips to help you use couponing as a vehicle to get you to being more financially free and pay off any debt that you may have. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, I'd love to have you click the subscribe button right here. And you can click this playlist here for a bunch of couponing 101 information, tips and strategies to help you coupon better for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below, let me know what tip you are going to be implementing for yourself to help you become more financially free. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.